What's up, everybody? It's your boy Rip, back with the 52nd and final episode ever of Sellout Sunday. So for this final episode, we're going to take a look back on this past year, kind of a year in review type of thing, and just reflect on all the things that happened this past year. So I'd like to thank everybody for sticking with me, and I hope you enjoyed this final episode ever. We'll be back after this. All right, so in the beginning of 2014, I wanted to do something kind of different and um, keep myself occupied throughout the new year since I didn't have any other projects like uh, my any albums or anything that I was promoting. So I just kind of wanted to stay busy. So I vowed in 2014 in the very beginning that I was going to give you inside glimpse and look into my personal life, my professional life and all that kind of stuff. Uh, every single week, every Sunday with a series called Sell Out Sunday. So every Sunday for the past year, I brought you guys an inside look on the things that were happening in my life for the week. Uh, I gave advice uh, if I came across something that week that I felt like I wanted to share with you or I should share with you guys. And uh, some, some, some weeks got a little more personal than others. Some were fun. But pretty much this episode right here is going to be a year in review and we're going to kind of take a glimpse back or take a look back on, on this year and kind of review everything that, that happened. So uh, we're going to start with episode one. Episode one, I started off giving tips on how to avoid being single for those um, who are tired of being single. I just kind of gave advice on, on, on how to uh, remain centered, how to keep attraction so you can avoid um, being single. I just basically told everyone how to be confident, be centered, have a mission and a purpose in life, and not to let anyone derail you from that. To love yourself, be confident, take care of yourself. Just pretty much how to keep the attraction alive because attraction is the number one thing that keeps somebody interested in you. Episode two, I, I kind of shared a story of my dad growing up and how he was very relentless and driven and, and motivated to succeed with um, a Mexican restaurant. And my message that week was just tips on becoming successful and how you should pursue something relentlessly and, and never give up. Week three, I was on the radio and had an interview with DJ Kayla Cush on 91.7 WSUM in Madison. Week four, I gave tips on losing weight, eating healthy, and staying in shape. Uh, I also attempted to bench press 225 pounds for the first time ever, which was two 45-pound plates on each side of the dumbbell. Week five, I filmed a music video for my single, What You Gonna Do, which was a bonus track on my sellout album, and I just gave a behind-the-scenes look on filming that music video. Week six was Valentine's Day. I shared uh, horror stories with my girlfriend, Amanda. Kind of funny, a little gruesome, but that was a, a special Valentine's Day edition of Sellout Sunday. Week seven, I gave encouragement by reminding people Life never goes according to plan. I just kind of had that epiphany that week in my life, and I thought I'd share that advice with you guys. Week eight, I kind of gave a, a glimpse inside the life of a recording artist who is pretty much doing everything himself, and I was assembling press kits in hopes of performing at Summerfest. Um, ended up turning out that I ended up DJing at Summerfest with another band, so e even though I didn't perform myself later on that year um, at Summerfest, in a way, I kind of sowed and reaped the benefits of performing at Summerfest, so that was kind of cool. I kind of manifested my own dreams, but I was a pr uh, assembling press kits to send out to get booked at summer gigs and summer festivals and stuff. Week nine, I learned uh, how to play the drums. Uh, I didn't perfect the craft, but uh, you know, it was, a, it was always a bucket list item to start learning, and I started to learn when I took a trip out east to visit family out in North Carolina. Week 10, we were in movie mode with the Oscars going on and everything, so I shared some deleted scenes from my making of a sellout film. Week 11 and 12 was kind of crazy. It was a two-part series. I DJed out in PCB, which is Panama City Beach, Florida for spring break and it was kind of wild things got wild and coincidentally for obvious reasons episode 12 was my most viewed and most watched episode of sellout Sunday which was a behind the scenes look at PCB spring break and things kind of got wild it was a hell of a time I, I enjoyed my I enjoyed my time down there I stayed down there for two or three weeks I want to say I was down there just DJing for spring break and man I had a hell of a time down there that was one of the highlights of the year definitely 13 was back to reality, gave some advice on how you should not envy others, you know, and how the gr grass isn't always greener on the other side. Week 14, I officially declared myself a Badger and started repping Wisconsin. I never claimed the Packers or anything like that, but uh, being in Madison the last couple of years, I officially declared myself uh, a Badger. 15, took a, a trip to the gun range with my good friend Leah and my girl Amanda. Uh, that's that's a fun favorite pastime of mine. So we had some fun at the gun range. I always love going there, and that's what we did this week on Sellout Sunday. 
Week 16, Amanda and I, we took my mom to get her first tattoo ever for Easter. And that was kind of fun because my mom always gave me crap my whole life growing up with tattoos and everything. So it was funny. She kind of cracked and we got her her first tattoo, which was a cross for Easter. It was an awesome experience. Week 17, I produced a film for the 48-hour film project, which was uh, called Giddy Up. And it was that, another awesome experience that was crazy. So because I was busy filming something for the 48-hour film project, I gave tips on how to get achieve that cinematic look if you're an uh, independent filmmaker and you're shooting with something like a DSLR and you, you, shoot, you have kind of entry-level equipment. So I gave tips on how to achieve a film look with the DSLR camera. Week 18, I taught you guys how to make guac for Cinco de Mayo. That was fun. Check that out. And 19 was Mother's Day edition. So I shared stories of a single mother with using outtakes of my making of a sellout film. So check that out. It's my mom kind of telling stories of us that didn't make the cut of the film. Uh, just stories of a single mother. Week 20, my buddy DJ Aaron J got married. So um, I shared a message about how you should enjoy quality time with friends and people. Um, it's a pretty important message. Make sure you guys check that one out. 21, I gave advice on being happy when you stop wanting things. Wanting is the number one thing that leads to disappointment and being unhappy. Episodes 22 and 23, I got a new toy in. It was real fun. I got this DJI Phantom quadcopter drone, and I just kind of take you through both episodes, playing around with it and getting some aerials around town in Madison, Wisconsin. It was pretty fun. Week 24, I had a tribute to my dad for Father's Day. Make sure you guys check that out. It has some footage that my uncle got of my father when he was uh, a lot younger. Week 25, I performed at the Mamas, which is the Madison Area Music Association Awards. Um, so this week, I share tips on performing live and just, you know, my with my experience performing for 10 years. I just gave tips to young, aspiring musicians and artists who are also looking for advice on performing live. Week 26 was our milestone edition. It was We were halfway through uh, Sellout Sunday at that point. It was also Amanda and I for one year anniversary from the time that we met and started seeing each other. So that was kind of a fun episode because we quizzed each other to see how well we knew each other after one year together. So check out that episode. That was probably like our second uh, most viewed episode of the, of the series. Week 27, I gave some advice. No one controls your own happiness but you. After taking a trip home and realizing that uh, some people in my life don't get that. In week 28, I did a favor for my good friend and uh, a big supporter of mine, Shalisha. I donated my own time willingly to help her film something and, and just donated my own time and services. And I just kind of give a message on how uh, giving is better than receiving and how rewarding and um, fulfilling it is. Week 29 was a special episode where we're doing favors for each other. Amanda had me run to get her some tampons for the first time. So then I made her do me uh, a favor in exchange for that. So it's just basically doing favors and things for your significant other. It's a pretty funny episode. Check that one out. In week 30, I showed you what it's like to go through a whole week in a life of rip for uh, the summer. I did a bunch of things, you know, DJing different gigs, uh, um, traveling up north in Wisconsin, and just uh, a bunch of stuff. Week 31, my best friend Jesus from my childhood came to visit. And, uh, you know, it just kind of gave a message on how recharging is essential. And, you know, sometimes you need that best friend that you had growing up. Sometimes you need their companionship to, to kind of just recharge when you have so much other things going on and you don't get to spend that much time with your friends. Week 32, a few incidents this week reminded me how you need to take the good with the bad in life. Week 33, I gave some advice, pretty much carpe diem. Uh, you got to enjoy the present moment and not harp on the past or the future so much and really just focus on the present and put your energy there, not anywhere else. Week 34, I enjoyed a Sunday fun day with some uh, some coworkers and, and some friends in my life. And I put work aside that week and I enjoyed, you know, some, some quality time. And I enjoyed relationships with friends over work. It was really refreshing. Week 35, I did the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Or did I? You'll have to watch that episode to check out my message. Week 36, I reacted to the Bears season home opener. Um, really disappointed. And uh, you can kind of see my disappointment and my predictions for the season. Week 37, I realized how you should stop striving for perfection in life. Week 38, uh, Amanda and I were kind of going through some hard times. We kind of broke up uh, and separated around this time. So she kind of had a message and some advice at that point in our lives. It's just part of, you know, being in a relationship. You have your ups, you have your downs. You know, we, we, we had our ups this year and then we had our downs too. So, you know, that was shown in this year's uh, series of Sell Out Sunday. Week 39, I gave some advice on how you should stop caring what others think of you. That's a real downfall in life. In week 40, I um, came across a dude who helped me with my music career about 10 years ago, and he showed a lot of love back then. So I kind of uh, just gave some advice that week on how you should never forget where you came from or who helped you 
along the way. Week 41 briefly discussed on how you should educate yourself and how um, reading and, and, and learning things and teaching yourself new things and, and not getting a place in a life and, and staying educated is, is key to life. In week 42, I was filming my Shows Over music video, which was a fun experience. So I shared some behind the scenes footage of that, which was pretty cool. You get to see a breakdown of some green screen effects and stuff like that. So check that episode out. Week 43, I rewarded myself. Um, I just pretty much discussed how sometimes it's okay to reward yourself. You work hard if you feel you deserve it. Sometimes you need to take what you feel you deserve and things aren't always going to be given to you. So it's okay to reward yourself every now and then. Week 44 is I was getting ready to surrender my reign as Madison Hip Hop Awards Artist of the Year. I decided to give some advice to other aspiring art artists out there. So I kind of have a, a top five list of tips for aspiring and budding musicians and artists. Week 45, as we started approaching the new year, I gave some advice on how change and new beginnings are essential in life. Week 46, I went to my first football, NFL football game ever. It was the Chicago Bears uh, at Green Bay at Lambeau Field. It was an awesome experience, but um, as you know, they got slaughtered that game and it was humiliating. So that week I disowned the Chicago Bears and I stopped supporting them until they could get their organization and everything straight and, and figured out internally. I just stopped supporting them because I became really frustrated at that point. You really have to check out that episode to, to get my full message on that. Week 47, I gave thanks for Thanksgiving. So check that important message out. Week 48, I took a trip to North Carolina to visit my dad for the holidays for Thanksgiving and my brothers. It was kind of a family trip and I, I grew really frustrated with some situations going on with my family. And um, I really learned that um, you can't tell other people what to do. If you want to do something, you have to lead by example. So that's an important message. Check that one out, lead by example. Week 49, I celebrated my birthday. Um, and I talked about pretty much just getting older and embracing it. I mean, it's a part of life and you can't change it. Week 50, I just realized how awesome God has been, you know, and, and giving me all these blessings in life. So uh, I thanked God and, and I, and I, um, was pretty much just talking about how awesome God is in week 50. And last week in week 51, I just, as we were approaching Christmas, I discussed the best gift that I have ever received. So that one was kind of deep and personal. If you guys want to check that out, you're free to as well. So that was my year in review. It was kind of a crazy year. I had some ups, I had some downs. I had a lot of blessings, opportunities in my career, uh, great people in my life. Just another awesome year. And it's, it's honestly really sad to kind of, uh, Rap Sell Out Sunday out, it's kind of bittersweet in a way. But uh, I want to thank everybody for sticking with me. I got plenty of new things coming up in 2015. Um, stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I'm not done putting out videos, so um, I'll still be around. But this is it for Sell Out Sunday. This was 2014. This is something I did for the new year. I fulfilled my um, I fulfilled my promise and my commitment. I said at the beginning of the year, I was gonna do 52 episodes, stuck with it, did it. And um, that's what you gotta do in life. So I hope my glimpse into my life this past year was um, something you could take from. I hope my advice was something you could take from. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing my stories. And um, man, it was a hell of a year. I'm gonna be sad to uh, let this go, but at the same time, it's gonna free up a lot of free time for me too to do other things in my life that I need to focus on. So um, thanks again for sticking with me. I love you guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned to my website, whoisripped.com. Uh, Twitter, I'm on Instagram now, uh, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Stay in touch with me. I love to be in touch with you guys. And thanks again for sticking with me all these years. I love y'all.